Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Since the last video that I uploaded, so much stuff has happened. I dyed my hair, so it's now black, and I had a baby! If you guys want to know about my birth and delivery story, let me know because it was completely opposite of what I had thought of going into it. It was, it just, <laughs> everything kind of derailed, but um, in the end everything was okay, I'm healthy, the baby's healthy, so it all turned out okay, but it's it's quite an interesting story. So if you want to know about that, let me know and I will definitely shoot that video for you guys. I'm so excited to finally try out this product. It's a first impressions and a wear test. Um, I've been wanting to shoot this video since this foundation came out, which is a few months ago. I'm a little late, but I'm finally doing it. Grab your coffee, grab your tea or vino, whatever time of day you're watching this at, and let's get started. So the product that I'm talking about is the Too Faced Just Peachy Foundation. Um, this is called the Comfort Matte Foundation. It says it's infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Um, it says it's medium covered, so we'll see how that applies. The thing that I was interested the most um, about this foundation is that it says it's transfer resistant. The entire Peach Perfect collection, for those of you who don't know, um, Too Faced launched this, I think, in the summer or a few months ago, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it seems to be geared towards oily skin. So I have extremely oily skin. I don't know if you can kind of, sorry, the sun's in and out today, so the lighting's going to be weird. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm already oily on my chin, around my nose, my T-zone. I did get matched quite a few months ago, and that was during the summer, so I don't know if my shades have changed. The shade that I got is called Warm Nude. This foundation has a lot of very interesting claims. So I'm going to be doing a wear test. I'm going to try to do some check-ins throughout the day, kind of see how it wears, how it goes. Hopefully if I'm not too busy with my son, I'm going to be um, trying to do a check-in at the end of the night and tell you guys what I thought about the foundation, if it really lives up to its claims and all that kind of stuff. So it says that the Peach Perfect is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream in our exclusive Comfort Matte Long Wearing 14 Hour Formula. The modern way to wear matte foundation. Photo friendly, smooth, flawless, and comfortable with a soft, focus velvety finish. It says it's oil free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling, photo friendly, and shine free. So those are a lot of claims for a foundation, especially for people with severely oily skin. One of the other things that I love about this foundation is that it does come with a pump. Usually when brands will go ahead and launch a foundation and a primer that goes specifically with that foundation, it's nice to try it out that way just to see the way that it was naturally intended. So that's what I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to do this side is going to be the primed and peachy and the left side of my face is going to be the Smashbox. So we're just going to do it that way. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out with a beauty blender as well as with a brush. I think I was way darker when I got matched with this. Ugh. Okay. I'm just going to get this out of there. So that's the consistency of the foundation. You can tell it's liquidy, but it's not insanely runny. So that was probably the equivalent of one pump. Okay, so I finished putting on my foundation. Um, what I've noticed is that it dried down completely matte, so I don't feel like I need to set this at all. And for someone with oily skin, that's a huge deal. I always feel like I have to set my foundation so that it really grips onto my skin. I don't feel like I need to do that with this. The other thing is it feels very soft and smooth, almost like cashmere, so it's definitely very comfortable and is not coming off on my fingers at all. So you can't even like... You can't even see it coming off of my skin, which again is another huge thing because with all of the other foundations I wear, I do this and you can automatically see the swipe that came off of my face. So, so far so good. Um, let me bring you guys in a little bit closer just so you can see up close what my skin looks like. Here we go. There's a look at my forehead right around here. It didn't grip quite properly. What do you guys think? I feel like I probably like the Beauty Blender side just a little bit better. They're both really close though. I'm gonna go do my eyes really quick and then do the rest of the face, apply bronzer, blush, that kind of stuff and see how that goes. Hi, welcome back. 
I'm so sorry if the colors look different. I actually had to switch devices that I was filming on because the first one kept overheating and shutting off. So I am shooting on a different device. Hopefully it's not too huge of a color difference. Okay, and there you have it. That is our finished look. It is now 3.04 p.m. Wow, I started shooting this video at 1. It took me two hours to do my entire face of makeup, feed my child, <laughs> Um, stay away from the sun that was chasing me so we've been through quite a bit um, I'm going to try to do some check-ins I said we're probably gonna be going to the mall with our little one later on as of right now what I can tell you about my skin is that it still feels really nice it doesn't feel like it's coming off it doesn't feel drying in any way um, I don't feel like I have any texture even the area right here between my eyebrows that was um, a bit dry and patchy, it hasn't gotten any worse. So, I mean, that's a plus. Um, around my nose, it's still pretty good. Um, and that's two hours since I put the foundation on, minus all of the other stuff. Everything else on top of it blended in really well. I was able to put on my blush, my bronzer, um, highlighter, everything else went on really nicely. So I guess time is going to tell us if at the end of the day my oils are going to break through or if this really does what it claims and keeps my oil controlled. So without further ado, I will see you at my next check-in. So we're at the mall. And what time is it? It is... 8.30. I was in the middle of swapping out my phones and the wear tests that I promised to do ended up accidentally getting deleted. What started out as a one day wear test has now turned into two days, maybe even three days. So this, this could be a thing, this could be salvageable. Today is the second day and I've gone ahead and reapplied everything. I kept everything pretty much the same. Um, I did use the uh, Primed and Peachy on this side and the Smashbox Primer on this side, so that was the same. The one thing I changed today versus yesterday is that I actually applied the entire foundation over my entire face with the Beauty Blender. Yesterday I ended up wearing the foundation for 11 hours. I put it on around 1 o'clock and I took it off around midnight. There was quite a bit of patchiness around my nose. The area right around here, that was a little bit dry. Nothing changed throughout the day. So whatever issues I had on my face when I put the makeup on, those are the same issues I had at the end of the day. In terms of comfort, it was very comfortable to wear. While we were out during one of the check-ins, which I no longer have, I actually asked my husband which side he preferred or which side he noticed a difference on. He said that this side looked a little bit better. He said he couldn't tell the pores quite as noticeably on this side than this side. So I thought that was interesting. I didn't tell him what was different about each side. I didn't tell him anything like that. I just asked him to look at my face and pick a side. The other thing he did is he did kind of like rub his beard all over me and nothing came off on him and it didn't disturb my makeup either. Generally at the end of the day after about nine hours wear a foundation, I usually notice that I am a greasy mess. So a swipe down my face, you can tell. The makeup will come off, the foundation itself will be oily, everything will have become just this creamy, oily, hot mess. Today I put my foundation on around 3 o'clock p.m. and it is now 2.10 in the morning. We've gotten, again, about 11 hours of wear. I am pleasantly surprised to see that my face is not greasy. This foundation has kept me matte all day long. Over 11 hours of wear, I have stayed matte. I didn't have to touch up at all. And today, I didn't even shy away from letting things touch my face. So I breastfed my son, and while I was burping him, he likes to kind of rest to the side of his head against my cheeks. I did go shopping, and I wore like a knitted scarf right around here. So up until about here, the scarf touched my face, and I was getting really hot and stuff. I purposely left it on to see if... Um, sweat and rubbing and things like that would make the foundation come off. Let's bring you guys in close. Let's take a look at my face. I'll show you up close and personal. You're going to be able to see my pores. <laughs> so here we go. This is my Smashbox side with the Smashbox primer. It did a pretty good job of filling in the pores. I have very enlarged pores, so I'm not surprised that you can see them. 
around my nose. It's looking, it's looking pretty good. I mean, it gathered a little bit when I was applying the foundation, but nothing too, too horrible. It gathered a little bit there, but I have such an indent that that's pretty impossible for it to not gather there. This side didn't gather in my nose area there. Let's see how it did up here. Did pretty good. I honestly don't have the same patchiness um, issue that I had yesterday. Where the scarf was right there, it looks like maybe the foundation is coming off a tiny little bit. You can't really see it on camera, but I can see it in person. So it came off a bit. Let's do the finger swipe test. Let's do this. That's the blush and the bronzer and the highlight that, that just came off my face. That side came off too, but again, I think it's just the powders that went on top of the foundation. There. Like there's, n there's no cream that comes off on my hand. Um, so that tells me that the foundation itself did not become creamy with the oils from my skin. It did a really good job of keeping the oils at bay so that it doesn't mix in and it doesn't come off. For someone who is extremely oily to look this good at the end of the day, that I would say is a win for sure. So far, I really like the foundation. I don't notice a difference in the pores. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do notice a difference between them, but just for kicks, I'm gonna switch up the primers tomorrow give it another wear and see how that goes. And tomorrow I'm gonna to give you my final thoughts on it. I'll see you soon. We're at the mall. So this is day three of me wearing this foundation. Um, this is kind of our only check-in for day three. And then later on, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. So far, so good. Bronzer, blush, everything stayed the same. The, um, everything on my eyes is the same as well. What else? How do you think it looks? I think it looks matte-ish. Ish? ish? Matte-ish. Like, like matte car, like yeah. matte. Yeah, matte. Why, why ish? Why not completely Because it's like matte liquid almost. In a good way or in a bad way? Um, I don't know. It looks like it's like chunky matte. Chunky? Like it's it layered almost. Chunky's not good. Okay, fine. Is it good? I don't know, I, you don't see any blemishes in your, like. That could be a good thing. Could be, I guess. Yeah. We're doing this Tati and James style, because she's my inspiration for this uh, wear test check-in business. Okay, so he said it looks matte, which for someone who is completely oily at the end of the day, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So we're just waiting for my husband to get the car. Um, just gonna bring you guys maybe a little bit closer just to see kind of how the foundation looks. I know the lighting here isn't the best, but so far so good. My nose looks a little bit shiny. Um, other than that, everything looks better than most foundations. Hey guys, it's time for the final check-in. I am super tired because it is 2.47 in the morning on day three of this foundation wear test. So I am going to keep this as brief as I can. The plane's make up on today around 4 o'clock p.m. So it's been about 10 hours of wear. The first two days I did 11 hours of wear. So I think I got a pretty good idea about how this foundation performs throughout the day, what it's like on oily skin, so on and so forth. One of the things that I did notice when I was trying to apply my foundation, it just kind of moved around and it slipped a lot. I found that even on my, on my cheek in this kind of area, I did have to go back in and just tap it in place. If I did anything like swirl it around with a brush, it just kind of slipped right off of my face. I didn't have to set my whole face. The only place I set were my under eyes or anywhere else that I put concealer on, on top of foundation. So this is definitely a foundation that you do not need to set, even for oily skin. The one thing to note about this foundation is that yes, even after you wear it for 11 hours, 14 hours, you will look completely matte. There's no way that you can tell that the oil has come through your pores. You're not a greasy mess, which I absolutely love about this foundation. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you can see up close what the foundation looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like 
on this side of my face. Honestly, even looking at it in person in the mirror, it looks like I just applied my makeup. It did gather a little bit right here, but nothing too crazy. Definitely not more than other foundations. In fact, it's gathered less than other foundations. There's a look at that cheek. Now taking a look at my forehead. This dry patch here has pretty much gone away, so I haven't had any problems with the application on that section of it of my face anymore. So my final thoughts, I like this foundation. I actually like it a lot. Did I have a little bit of trouble applying it and making sure that everything was even? Yes. Is it worth it? Absolutely. To be able to get so many hours of wear as a person with extremely oily skin and still look like I have just applied my makeup at the end of the day and not having touched up at all is very, very good. The other claim that it has is that it is transfer resistant. Now, when it's applied fresh and within, I would say, anywhere from five hours to eight hours of wear, I think that that is absolutely very true. Um, the longer you go wearing this foundation and having it on your skin, the oils of your skin will naturally come out and try to push the foundation off of your face. This one is doing a very good job at keeping those under control. My final verdict on this foundation is that I definitely like it. I'm going to be keeping it, I'm going to be repurchasing it, and I definitely recommend it to anybody who has oily skin that wants to keep it under control. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see any other kind of videos. Let me know if there's anything specific that you want me to film, and I will do my best to do so. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.